Okay, so I'm going to show you how to uh, boot up in with a USB drive. Here I've got my USB drive, uh, which I have Ubuntu 10.10 installed on. Now, in order to boot from a, a USB drive, you need to have your computer set to boot from USB, which means you need to check your in your BIOS uh, on boot up and find out what your boot order is. So, this is a Dell, which is going to be different than yours, but uh, in each uh, BIOS setup is different, so you have to read the instructions once you get in there. So you generally enter BIOS by either hitting the F2 key, um, it could be the F12 key might get you, that might get you to a boot menu. Uh, mo a lot of times it's the delete key or it could be the, uh, the escape key. Um, my computer's the F2 key, so I'm going to start there. And as soon as I turn it on, you'll see a splash screen. Once you see the splash screen, it'll tell you I started hitting the F2 key, and it'll tell you, you'll see it, um, hit the key that it says for, for uh, setup, and it'll bring you to this screen. This is in your BIOS. Uh, and here you can change different parameters. We want to look at the boot sequence. So if you look over here, you can see that, um, you can see that uh, we have, uh, under system, we have these different submenus, and down here's the boot sequence. So you use your, you, you read your instructions on how to navigate through uh, the BIOS, uh, so up and down arrow to select a different field and then press escape to exit. Um, we're going to go down and look at the boot sequence. So once the boot sequence is highlighted, I look at my menu down here and it tells me what to do. Enter to modify this setting. Now up here, I have this set up similar to what I see a lot of times with laptops that are, you know, bought from in the store. They always have the external or the internal hard drive. It always seems to be number one in the sequence. Well, that's what the computer is going to boot off of is number one. So we don't want that because we want to boot from a USB. So we're going to read our instructions, up and down arrow keys to select a different field. Whoops, sorry. Whoops, whoops. I'm supposed to hit enter. So it says hit enter to modify this setting. Enter now. I have highlighted here. Up and down arrow keys. Use U or D to move the device up or down in the list. So that's the U key. I wanted to move it up. So here we go. Now the USB uh, storage device is going to boot first. If it can't find a USB storage device, the computer will boot from the hard drive. Well, I don't want that, so actually what I want is I want uh, the CD drive to be the next in line, so I'm going to move that up. That's just my preference. I don't want to come back in here and, and have to reset this thing, so later. So that's how I want to set up my boot order. Um, now you look down here, it says press escape to cancel. Um, so I'm done with this. What I'm going to do is uh, hit enter when done modifying this field. So I'm done. Hit enter. Now I'm back to here. Now it says press escape to exit setup. So I press the escape key because I'm done. And then I have the option to remain, save, or discard and exit. Well, I'm going to go ahead and boot now for my USB. So I'm going to take my USB drive and I'm going to stick it in a uh, USB port. Okay. Now we're going to uh, we're going to go ahead and save and exit. Hit enter, and then we're going to wait and see what happens. Now the first thing you're going to see is uh, the BIOS is updating, and then you're going to see this screen with a small icon down here. It takes a little bit to update this. I don't know why it does this, but every time I change a BIOS, it takes a little while for the BIOS to boot up. Oh boy, it takes a while. Okay, when I see that, I just hit the enter key. It brings me to this one. If you don't hit the enter key when you see that uh, little icon down there, that's not a problem. It'll take you to a different uh, login screen that'll give you your options. Um, I just find this way quicker. So it's default is English, so I'll hit enter. And then now you have this menu, and you can use your arrow keys to go up and down to what you want to do. In this case, we want to try Ubuntu without installing. So we hit enter, and uh, now it's going to start working. It's going to take a little while. There's the Ubuntu logo. Okay, 
Okay, there we go. Okay, so this is the um, this is the uh, desktop, and what we see here is uh, we see this little U3. You won't see that because that's that's actually on my um, flash drive there, but you want to access your hard drive. So what you do is you come up here to places and this is going to open up basically a file manager. And when you look down here, you're going to see you know, the different directories. These are all on the flash drive. But down here, you're going to see diff these are different drives. You can see these icons here. Now I've got this, th this is all on the same hard drive, all these different file systems that you see here because I have this hard drive all chopped up. But basically, you're probably only going to have two partitions on your drive. It will be one small partition that'll have, that should have your recovery, it's a recovery partition, and then you'll have uh, a much larger partition. Uh, so what you do is you open, the, you'll, it'll say maybe, I don't know how big your hard drive is, maybe 250 gigabyte file system. Well you can click on that and you can open it up. And then this will show you all the folders that are in there. What you want to do basically is find your home folder. With Windows, I think it's a home folder. It might be a user or all users. Um, you'll have to just look around in there. Um, but you can open this up and you can um, uh, gain access to all, your, to all your files. Okay, so in this case I've got ISO images in here. Um, and I said I open up examples, for example, you got all kinds of stuff in here, right? Now, to save your files, you can get your other USB drive and insert that. Oops. Okay. And now that one's that one's uh, mounted. It's what they call mounted. That, now there's two partitions on this USB drive, so I've got a bunch of stuff on here already. But you can take something, uh, so up here at the top it tells you where you are. So I'm in, I am looking at the 63 gigabyte file system. I'm in home directory Ivan uh, examples. Um, so if I go up one, I can find, maybe I'll find some pictures. Here's some pictures. So um, if I want to if I want to uh, save them over here on this flash drive, this tells me where I'm at. You notice it's a, it's a flash drive and this is recovery. So I can grab a photo and I can just take it, copy it right over just like that, drop, drag and drop. You can select multiple files by holding your control key and, and clicking and drag all of them at one time or if you want to uh, um, select the whole line of photos, you click the first one, hold your shift key and it'll select it'll select them all and then you can drag them all over all at once and copy them over. Um, once you're done you want to um, you want to unmount your flash drive. Uh, you check, make sure that what you copied is there, which it is, there it is right there. Unmount your flash drive um, and then you can go ahead and close this. When you're done you want to go ahead and shut the computer down and it's shut down just like any other computer. Um, and then that's it.